Hey guys, it's the Gomez Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you all of my videos. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with AR Foundation, and I'm actually gonna do an experiment with the Tesla truck that Elon Musk released not too long ago. I want to be able to see if we can download a model from Sketchfab and then download it into Unity and then use that model to be able to use it in an experience that I'm gonna be building. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right guys, so this is a scene that I have right now. I have two Tesla trucks. I have the front view and also the back view. And as you can see, we this model is really cool. I also want to credit the author, which is from Sketchfab and the ID is hash, basically this ID right here. I'm not gonna try to repeat that name, but I wanna credit her because this is created, it was created by her. So I want to I want to show you how we can also use this in augmented reality. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna play the video that I play at the beginning, but I think it'll be easier to see this way. So this is outside my house and you can see I am walking around. I think I need to adjust adjust the lighting because we are not able to see the textures really well based on the based on the lighting that I have set up in the in the scene. But you can see that's basically about the size of the of the Tesla truck. I also have some weird basically positioning on the bottom that I need to fix. And here I'm inside of the Tesla Cybertruck, which is it's actually really cool to see in real life how you know how it's going to look because it gives you a better idea of you know sizing where you can park it where you can position it and of course this is this is not where i'm going to be parking it because it's not going to be in the middle of the road but that gives you kind of an idea if i fast forward the video i also have a scaling functionality here i don't have the dragging functionality on this scene specifically but i can add it later on and this is just a small version of the tesla truck and this is the the part that i was showing you that was kind of an issue right here is basically not positioned pretty well based on the plane but i changed the size and i'm just basically walking back and just to see you know see it from the far as well so that's basically a demo of the of the tesla truck i'm going to do another demo in the future where the lighting the lighting is better so some of the things to keep in mind if you if you download the the model from sketchfab make sure that you look at the rotation because i had issues with the rotation specifically with the original model that they provided. So I'm gonna show you what they provide. I'm gonna go into downloads. And this is the download that I got. I went into, I went into the source and then just basically download it and imported that into Unity. So in fact, if I go here and I were to drag it and drop it into the scene, let me make sure that I'm doing the right one because it needs to be the one with the, yep, that's, that was the right one. So just double click on that, and then I'm just going to do this one more time. Just drag it and drop it. And then it's gonna give you the, the FPX. But one thing to keep in mind, if I go into the inspector here, you're not gonna have access to the, to the actual materials out of the box. The reason for that, if I were to drag and drop here, you're gonna see that the, there's just basically, the, the model just doesn't look quite right. The, the, bump, the high map is just making it look really weird. So you're gonna have to be changing and making sure that you change those depending on you know, the look and feel in Unity. What I did with mine, I went into this model right here. I went into materials, extract materials, and I started, extracted all the materials and then I just tweaked the materials a little bit, which I think I still need to improve. Let me go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna show you the one that I have. So if I go ahead and look at the prefab and just double click on it to open it up, or I can just click on, let me just make sure that I can open prefab. And then if I go into the body here, you're gonna see that I have all the materials extracted. They are in the Tesla Cybertruck. I put it in the source folder. So now I have access to, okay, if I wanted to change the color of the, maybe the glass, it wasn't, maybe the glass needs to be a little bit more, you know, have more metallic material to it. Or if I wanted to change the smoothness, I can also do that. You can also, the, the model has five different materials, the glass gray, the body, the gray, the light, and then also the glass. So it also has the, the, the funny story about the demo that Elon Musk did is they actually, he actually had somebody throwing a metal ball against the, against the windows and they actually cracked. He wasn't expecting to crack, but I think it was because 
they spend all day, you know, hitting those windows and then, you know, finally, it, you know, somebody hit it too hard and then it cracked the window. But anyways, that's basically that, it has that look. And then the other things that you can change if you wanted to change, you know, make it more metallic, you can make it more metallic. If you wanted to change the smoothness here as well, if you wanna add a normal map, you know, anything that you want to add, the materials are available in here. The, the issue with the original model though, is if I go into models, and I were to drag this and drop in here, you're gonna see that the, the rotation is set to a negative number, and it's actually gigantic, but if I set that to zero, you're gonna get, you know, it's gonna look upside down. I don't like to deal with negative numbers or any rotations, I always like to freeze transformations in 3D applications, so in here what I did is I, I set it all to zero just for now because I didn't want to go into Maya and update a model that I didn't create, so what I did is I, I left this one as zero, which is the parent, this is a game object, and then the body is the one that I offset. So I offset every single one of them, but negative 89.98, and then everything looks fine. But as, as far as Unity is concerned, the positions on X, Y, and Z, and rotation on X, Y, and Z is all zeroed out, which is great, because when I'm placing that in augmented reality, I don't want to have to you know update the rotation of a model. So that's what I did there, and then if you guys have looked at the different examples that I have for augmented reality, make sure that you look at the Unity Air Foundation Essentials that I have in GitHub. I'm gonna put the location in the URL. And also what I did for this demo is, this is a scene called a status selection with Kellen per object. You can use the same scene after you clone the code, and all you really need to do is just modify the place prefab, which I have in here as a Tesla truck. It used to be the statue that, I'm, that I was showing, in the previous video, which is this one right here, I can show you. It used to be actually the place dragon. So if I drag it and drop it, you're gonna see this used to be. So all I did is just swap the model from that to the Tesla truck. And now when I when I detect the plane and I do a ray cast against the plane, I'm positioning the Tesla truck and not the dragon anymore. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video on Tesla truck with augmented reality. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.